In this area of downtown Billings, people are used to interacting with the unhoused population. But lately, local businesses here say it's gotten worse, and they fear what will happen if the city of Billings doesn't become more involved. It's an absolute nightmare. Business owners in this area of downtown, just south of the train tracks, are used to sites like these. There's just a ton of people out here trying to survive. But lately, the behavior they're used to has changed into something more. We're seeing a lot of trafficking and drug activity. You have urban camping happening. That is just going to breed other things. That urban camping is an issue that's become a problem in other cities around Montana, and they fear it's made its way to Billings. People just park in two hour parking spots and haven't left for two months. Billings police say they are aware of the recent growth of issues in the area between Minnesota Avenue and First Avenue South. With having the rescue mission there in St. Vincent de Paul, um, gratitude and action, a lot of that is why you're seeing the people congregate to that area is because that's where their services are. Downtown resource officer Mike Freeman says all they can do is issue citations, which doesn't really solve the problem. It doesn't really help the underlying issue that each individual is dealing with on their own basis. A lot of times we focus on what we see as the problem, which is what's visible, and we don't focus on what's working to solve the problem. Yellowstone County Continuum of Care Chair Carrie Boyder says that according to numbers from last January, Billings accounts for nearly 28% of the state's homeless population, and that something needs to happen to change the cycle. They're trying to survive out there, but they need somewhere to go and they need that assistance. If you cannot provide that, that's when you become, as a city, overwhelmed. A problem BPD says they're trying to solve. It just takes time. We always, um, you know, reinforce what the law is and we're trying to get ahead of that so that it doesn't, it doesn't explode and it doesn't get ahead of us um, and turn into something that we just can't handle. We can't arrest ourselves out of this problem. We can't incarcerate it, it just doesn't work. Um, what we have to do is we have to find long-term permanent solutions. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.